What is up, guys? It's your boy, Phil Shocker, the 96 Edge Dog here with our week three. I don't know why I have two on here. But no, yeah, this is already starting up right. With our week three team builder of the Stab Wi Fi League, we are going against the Victorian Big Teenies and Squishy. Uh, this is going to be a really rough matchup for us, but we're going to try our best to pull out a W. We've been in rough matchups before, and we pulled out the W's. So we can obviously do this. You guys didn't catch out last week. It was sadly a recap video instead of the battle because of the fact I had to do this, that, and this with it. So do strongly apologize for the fact that there was no Wi-Fi battling. There was just I'm having I'm guessing that we got disconnected because of the winds and stuff. It's been really storming and winning a lot here for me. So I'm hopefully hoping it doesn't happen again. So we can do a record next week's. And just go for this. Week. But, like I said, we're here. Our joints then off against Squishy and his Victorian Victinis. Let's go ahead and break down Squishy's team. You guys can hit the like button down below. If you're ready, subscribe to the Only Phil Shocker crew today because you'd be for the the king of the crew. Let's break down Squishy's team. For his G-Max Pokemon, he's got Grimstone, the best G-Max there is. No, no if ands, or buts about it. You can argue and say mine is, and Lapras, definitely. Uh, Halucha, and even Kaparaja. He's got Halucha, which is really scary because he can do some type of a terrain offensive core if he really wants to, if it's Dazzling Gleam. If he wants Dazzling Gleam or Spirit Break, whatever he chooses to go there. He's got a Flygon, which is actually very scary for Cesar team. Kieran, another one that's very scary for Cesar team. Aegislash is going to be checking a good amount of things on my team. Warren Wash to be his defog option this week. Venusaur is definitely something I can see potentially him bringing, but I'm going to say it just will stay home just barely. Um, I might actually change one of my moves then to do something else. But, um... Uh, Snorlax, which is another one I don't really see coming, but can come as a really just a bulky, annoying set with probably rest, sleep, talk. A Selgor is really up in the air. I, I can see him bring it, but I also just can't see him bring it. I have a Grounded Poison type. I got Mons that can get rid of hazards and stuff like that. So I don't know if he really wants a Colossal. Definitely does not come. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever to bring versus my team. And Celebi makes absolutely no sense versus my team. Because it just has a terrible matchup. So this matchup, like I said, is relatively hard. I had to really prepare myself. And I'm probably going to change up one of the movesets before I, for, before I do anything else. And might add one more thing to it. Depending... If I'm that nervous, but let's go ahead and break down the team. We're bringing first off our choice guard, Gengar Danny, who put in the work last week, technically picking up five kills in his game, really showing why he is a dominant G Max Pokemon. We're in 76 HP, max special attack, modest nature with enough speed to outspeed timid max speed Flygon. Flygon is a very nuisance Pokemon, and it has to be forced to bring Choice Scarf versus me this week. I see no reason to bring Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance is a terrible time setting up versus my entire team. Uh, this Pokemon really puts in <sighs> me, the pressure offense on us, but we also use Gengar to pretty much destroy his team. Because here's how Gengar will work in the G-Max form. Once G-Max, it is using its Scarf, but the cool thing about G-Max Geng Gengar in this matchup is that it can get the boost, and then when it goes back to its regular form, then it choice locks itself into either Sludge Wave or Shadow Ball. And the goal is to start sludge waving and then shadow balling pretty much everything on his team. The main problem we have with this is that Grim Snarl. But Grim Snarl never freely comes in versus Gengar. He has to wait until my G Max is gone before he really wants to do anything with Gengar on the field. So that's going to be something that he's got to be careful of and something we have to be careful of. Up next, we're bringing my man George. And this George very well could win us this game. We're running Jolly Nature, 116 in speed, which lets us outspeed a speed crept Halucha. It is trying to outspeed Gengar with a Jolly Nature. Running 140 in HP for bulk max attack with no retreat, three attacks this week. We basically are set up to basically destroy his team. And I am running the Defiant ability. Now, Defiant is risky, but if he does choose to bring a shielding Aegis Slash versus my team, then I hope we can catch him off guard, get a plus three attack, and basically one to two shot every single thing in this team. At plus three attack, we actually will Oko shield form Aegis Slash with Throat Chop. Close combat pretty much hits everything on his team, and Zen Headbutt is specifically made for the Halucha. It is a bit of a damage roll in about my favor, but 
You know how rolls can go. I got lucky last week. But again, it won't mean I'm going to be lucky this week. I'm not sure we're back Leo, a.k.a. Chanel Smash Blastoise himself with Aura Spear Surf Shell Smash Toxic. I think I'm going to change Aura Spear to Dark Pulse because it does still do the same damage to Rotom. It does offer a fun chance and it gives me a super effective damage hit on the Age of Slash. I'm now debating on whether or not I want to put Ice Beam on this set. Now, the reason why I would have Ice Beam on this set is for, again, the Venusaur, which, again, I'm really contemplating on because I want it to be able to Toxic. I want to actually... I don't remember. Did I put... All right, you know what? I think we're going to take a risk here. We're running Ice Beam. This could be really risky. It could be. I don't know, but we'll see what it is. We're running Modest Offensive Blast Toys. Enough speed to outspeed is Choice Scarf Flygon with 36 in HP. So basically, once I Shell Smash, I am faster than anything he has on his thing, except for a certain Unburdened Speed Crept Alucha, depending on what he goes for. <sighs> Ready to it because it's the way we have to go. Up next, we're bringing Sky or Arcanine. Arcanine has not really been able to do much for the team so far. It has picked up a kill, but it didn't really... would have picked up a clutch Toxic kill or would have won us the game at the end there. I guess we're going to be, but... We're bringing a very interesting uh, Arcanine this week. We are bringing... I didn't do this right. I need to make sure I do this right, so I'll fix that. These are supposed to be level 50. I don't know why I have them at level 100. But... Basically, get in mind. So we have Play Rough for his Dragon types, Flame for our General Stab, which is really good. Play Rough also hits Grip Snarl for super effective damage. Toxic is there for a Rotom switch in, and Toxic in general is super good versus his team because he never switches in his Steel type to me. He never switches in his Fire, his um um Venusaur. So I can freely Toxic something and we we can it down slowly on the team and cause some chip damage there so that way we can be able to pick up a late game kill. Again, Flamethrower is generally a good stab. Morning stuff are recovering Toxic this week. We've been pretty much just running Arcanine purely defensive, but just does so well defensive versus my opponent. Running max HP, 4 in attack, 116 defense, 108 but death with a sassy nature. Mixed defensive with the death boosting nature this week just for purposes I'm, I'm comfortable with, but defensive so we can take at least one Earthquake from the Flygon unless that is Adam. And the speed crep we have on here is very interesting. If he is a max max defensive run watch, which I personally think he needs to be, I don't think there's any need for speed or anything like that. If we if he runs purely like say max bold, max HP, max defense, with the minus speed nature, what with the 28 speed EVs, we outspeed defensive Rotom Wash by one point or two points, one of the two. And that's what's really clutch about this set, is that we can basically outspeed defensive Rotom Wash and be able to go for a play rough if it's weakened down, or a flamethrower and just try to weaken it down even more. Up next, we have Streamers. The Sylveon making her debut this week with Hyper Voice Wish, Mystical Fire, Calm Mind. Dual stat, Hyper Voice plus Mystical Fire runs shop on his team, because primarily he is going to be bringing Special Kyurem and probably Special Age of Slash. So, we are bringing 156 HP, max Fizz Def Defense, and 100 in Spadef. So, basically, Sylveon's goal is to set up a go for either Wish or Calm Mind first, depending on what he has in front of us. Then, set up the Wish, and then get a Hyper Voice off, and then just basically try to keep this thing alive. This Mon puts in so much pressure and so much work versus his team. We really got to keep this thing healthy and safe for the long term of the match. And last but not least, it was really tough to put this last slot in. But I think this was the one we decided. I think it was for me the one I think I had to put in this slot. We're bringing Ellie Arcaparaja with Power Whip, Play Rub, Heat Crash, Heavy Slam. Pretty much about the same set we brought last week. And a lot of people are really like, Thriller, you wouldn't learn your lesson and not run these, these heavy moves. Well, Heavy Metal does so well versus his team. It's really offensively, from a standpoint, really good. I actually might change Heavy Slam for Iron Head, actually. Because I think it actually would be better... From a sheer force extension point. And actually I think we will do that right now. Actually. Plus those let me hit the. His G-Max Pokemon at least once. So yeah. But 160 HP. 116 attack. 16 defense. And, and 216 with the Assault Vest. So we are really going to be able to take the Earth Powers. And stuff like that. But that's going to be the team guys. Definitely like if you haven't already. Let's hope we go for 2-1-1. Until next time guys. I'm Phil Shocker. I'll see you guys later.